Now that our accessories are on, let's head out. to another weekly vlog. So I have just gotten dressed for the day and did my hair. Super excited about this style. It's really befitting, very cute for the spring. And shout out to Eunice Hair for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So you guys know in the last vlog, I took my braids out and I wanted a cute spring style. So this is it. This is a closure balayage wig unit. And I really like the way that the color is placed in this unit. I got a 24 inch, but I ended up cutting the hair to this like very natural, cute length here. But as you can see, it is still very long. Let's just put some barrel curls in it. You guys should be seeing some B-roll of this hair when I got it out of the pack. This hair does not require much work at all. It is already done for you. As you can see, they came with large barrel curls in them, but I am a little bit of a perfectionist, so I went ahead and blew the hair completely out and started over because I like for my curls to be away from my face and very flowy and very uniform. So that is what you are looking at here. If you're interested in this unit, it will be linked in the description bar down below but anywho we are about to get ready to head out i am super excited we are about to head to the thrift store i am specifically looking for some spring trends that i told you guys about in previous videos anytime where i kind of feel the urge to order something online i always check the thrift store first so that is what we're going to be doing today i am specifically looking for jorts and if you didn't catch my last video jorts are simply long jean shorts some may call them like capris or bermuda shorts but i'm going to be referencing them as jorts so i'm going to be looking for them in a denim fabric i'm also going to be looking for them in trouser form basically a short that looks like a trouser i almost always pick mine up from the men's department and I will show you guys once we are in the store exactly what to look for. So hopefully we can find some, if not all of that in today's visit. Let me quickly show you guys my OOTD and then we will head out. All right, y'all, so this is my OOTD. The entire outfit is thrifted. So the top came from the men's department, of course. It was in like an extra, extra large and I just tucked it in to these vintage Lee jeans. I'm gonna be throwing on this H&M bag that I showed you guys in the previous haul. This is a dupe for the Gucci bag. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna be pairing it back with these Boston clogs, also known as Birkenstocks, and then topping it off with these shades. All of my shades are super old and it's very hard for me to remember where I got these, but if I had to guess, I believe these came from Sunglass Spot. If they are available, I will link them in the description bar down below, as well as the Birkenstocks and the bag. All right, now that our accessories are on, let's head out.
so we are back today just was not a good day to go thrifting also girl i got in the store and my lace was lifting so i had i had to get up out of there i had to get up out of there you was not gonna catch me slipping with my lace flapping away but y'all know i am new to the lace game i'm really not a lace girl i'd rather have a v part but these units are so much easier. You don't have to worry about burning out your hair and things like that, but I haven't quite got the hang of it. Now, with that being said, I did pick up one item, one item. And I am cherishing this one item. Though I don't have a huge haul, this item is something that I truly wanted. And that is an accessory. Let me get it for you. All right, so this is the accessory that I picked up. I absolutely love this belt. There are several things I love about it. One, it is big enough to fit my waist. I find that for whatever reason, in the thrift store, the vintage cute belts are always super tiny. Like, I don't know if just the tiny people enjoyed <laughs> cute belts or if just during that time they were all, or we were all, um, a, a certain size, I don't know. So this was the first belt that I found that actually fits me. It's actually oversized. It has more than enough room for me, but it gives that Western vibe, that Western vintage vibe. This is going to help to elevate any item. So this was $5.45, but super, super excited about this. You will see it styled up in a few videos to come. I do have some spring styling videos coming down the pipeline for you guys. So it is currently 2.30. Uh, my son will be off the bus in about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm seriously thinking about going upstairs to my storage and get out um, one of my spring summer totes because there are some sandals in there that I really want to go ahead and get out. And to be honest, I really need to start changing over my closet, but I'm just not ready to do it just yet so um if i don't do that today i'll definitely do it at some time during this vlog also girl we have a little outing tonight just me and i'm going to be going to chill with some of my home girls she is having a game night so i'm super excited about that but we have to figure out what we're going to wear so i think i'll more so spend this time this hour and some change that i have figuring out what it is that I'm going to wear. I'm definitely going to wear a hat because I don't have time to fool with this lace, even though it is just so stinking cute without it. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this unit is just too small for my head because I have a really large head or I just don't know how to maintain the lace. I really wish I could just wear it as is, but we're definitely going to have to put a hat on. But anywho, girl, let's go figure out what we're about to put on and yeah we'll try the thrift store again later on in this vlog all right so excuse the background noise i just quickly loaded my dishwasher but anywho i think i'm gonna throw this t-shirt on tonight for game night it's oversized it's cute but it still screams fashion i love this shirt this shirt was thrifted from Park Avenue Thrifts from the men's department. It is vintage Coogee. And when I think of Coogee, I think of Biggie Smalls. And when I think of Biggie Smalls, I think about New York. And so I told you guys that I um, was not wearing this wig without a hat because baby, this lace is playing with me. So I'm probably going to throw on this New York Yankees hat with it i think that's a nice chill vibe of course we have to iron and then i'm probably going to throw on these sweats with it these sweats are from target they are part of a set and then just put on my new balance i'll probably more than likely need a coat but i'll probably just put on my jacket but yeah i think this is going to be the vibe so i'm going to go ahead and iron it's 327 so i need to also get ready to go get my son but yeah this will be the vibes cute not doing too much but still fashion
All right, so we ran the spades table, but I wanted to ask y'all, how many books y'all see? This is a true test if we can really be friends. Let me know in the comments below. Y'all, so I just pulled up at Ulta. I am on the hunt for the Let Me Chill gummies by Kourtney Kardashian. I know that they sell them at Target, but I did a quick Google search before I left the house and it says that Ulta has them on sale. So I'm gonna quickly pop into Ulta to see if they have it on sale. Let's cross our fingers. But if not, I can just go back down the road to Target and pick it up there. But we love a good sale, girl. So let's head inside and see if we can get it on sale. Anywho, I went ahead and made my matcha. You guys should have seen me make this matcha. I have been loving, when I say loving this matcha, I told you guys a few vlogs back that I was going to be going on keto. And every time I go on keto, I use this particular keto matcha here. Now I pick mine exclusively up from Walmart. I'm sure you can find it at like Amazon and things like that. On the package, it says one serving, but I can get three servings from one pack. I really, really like it. I love the fact that it is 100% matcha. It has grass-fed um, butter in it, and it also has MCT oil in it. One of the things that people don't really pay attention to while on keto is your fat intake. So a lot of what helps keto to be different than other diets is the high fat portion of the keto diet. Yes, you have to have a carb deficit. It is a low carb diet, but you also have to increase your healthy fats. And so things like MCT oil and grass fed butter really, really helps. So I've been loving that. I've been seeing results and I am excited to continue on with my keto journey. I told you guys I'm gonna be doing it for about 30 days. And this, this matcha in the morning feels like a treat. It doesn't feel like I'm depriving myself so I'm really excited about that. But anywho, girl, I did go ahead and change my unit. I'm a fashion girl, right? So sometimes like a bust down, like black hair middle part just goes well with more looks. And so I'm about to get ready to film. So I went ahead and threw this unit on because I felt that it would look better with some of the looks that I am going to be styling. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started filming that video. Then I will catch up with you guys once I am done. Cheers, happy Monday. All right, y'all, I just got done filming, hence me being all dolled up. 
but I really, really like this look. I filmed a reel for it and then I filmed my sit down video in it. This look is completely thrifted. I will pop up the reel for you guys here on the screen so I'm not repeating content, but really, really like it. Oh, and the belt girl, this is the belt that I showed you guys earlier on in the vlog. It was entirely too big. I almost was like upset because the cute parts, like the Western parts were being like um, covered up because of the way that I had to belt it. So I just kind of did this little tuck thing. Really, really like it. I end up going back to the thrift store. I hear y'all yelling, but listen, girl, it, it was my me time. I, I needed to woosa. And I kept going back and forth in my head, like, should I get out my camera and capture this content? Or should I be present and use this as, you know, therapy, like this therapeutic nature, I needed it. So I decided to just use it as therapy and I ended up picking up these two pieces. Um, this is a um, bikini top and then the Bermuda shorts, let me show you. All right, so these are the Bermuda shorts. So stinking cute. Now, uh, the perfect Bermuda short is going to be a short that hits just above the knee or a short that hits below the knee. My favorite is a short that hits slightly below the knee because it looks a little bit more intentional and not that you just have on shorts that's kind of too big for you. So ideally I would have wanted this short to be maybe two inches longer, but I really, really like this style short. It's really, really cute, very elevated, very chic, but the real reason, girl, we still working on these legs in the gym and your girl's got cellulite galore. So if you are like me and you have cellulite and you're kind of insecure about wearing your shorts this season, get you some jorts, which are long jean shorts or some longer trousers style shorts like these or Bermuda shorts and you'll be good to go. You'll be very fashionable. But like I said, look behind, you're covered up. So most of your cellulite is gonna be covered up. You're gonna look nice and smooth and cute. Thank me later, girl. Thank me later. With that being said, talking about these legs, I'm about to take this wig off, take off this lip and head to Walmart because I need to pick up some more pre-workout so that I can go to the gym. I wanted to go to the gym every day for 30 days. Now, I've already missed two days, but hear me. If I have any like hardcore trainers in the community, let me know. How do you get to the gym? Like say you're a five days a week girl. How do you do that when you're uber sore? So it wasn't the motivation for me. Like my motivation, I'm locked in. You hear me? Locked in because next month is my anniversary and I'm trying to be snatched, okay? Snatched. I've lost track. The, yeah, it'll be 14 year anniversary. My husband and I have been together 14 years this year, married for four. And so I want to be snatched, baby. I want to, to look like I did when we were 21, when we first got together, okay? But anywho, how do you do that? How do you go to the gym the next day after being sore? Like I did legs on, what day was that when I went out? Friday. I did legs on Friday. When I say Saturday and Sunday, I couldn't move. It's Monday today. I have a little bit of movement in my legs, but it still hurts to like bend down. So yeah, but anywho, I'm about to, like I said, get changed and head to Walmart to get some pre-workout. And I'll show you guys the pre-workout that I, um, well, my husband and I get. Also, I do want to quickly show you guys what I made for dinner last night. So I'll cut to a cute little clip of what I made for dinner last night. This is one of my favorite keto friendly meals and it tastes so good. Um, so this is spaghetti and I simply substitute my spaghetti noodles for zucchini. So stinking good. So I'm gonna be having those for leftovers. I fasted the majority of the morning. 
So I'm not sure, yeah, I need to eat something before I go, but I don't necessarily want to have the spaghetti. We'll see. So whatever I eat, I will show you guys, but let's head to Walmart to get the pre-workout. It is 1.53, so I have a little bit of time to play with before my son gets off the bus, but let me stop running my mouth. Okay, let's go. Right, y'all so we have made it to the car headed to walmart my goal is to get in and out of walmart you hear me like i'm not picking up anything else plus not to sound bougie but you know we all got a little bit of it in us i don't like being in walmart too long because something always tends to pop off in there why my glasses feel crooked but anyway, something always tends to pop off in there. And so I don't want to be a part of the pop off. <laughs> so I'm going to get in and out as quick as possible. Also, Walmart has started like locking up any and everything. And pre-workout is definitely on that list. So hopefully there is someone working in that area so that I can be in and out. As you guys can see, it is such a beautiful day out today. So much so that I think I want to go outside and journal a little bit today. My apartment complex has this beautiful swing, um, like swing set outside of one of like the common areas. It is so cute and so nostalgic for me. This exact style of swing set, my grandmother had one of these on her porch when I was a kid. So sitting and swinging on it, it's just vibes. So yeah, I may do that, but it is also hot out. Like I asked Google before I left the house what the temperature was. And I think she said like 78, 79. My car right now is reading 85. And I'm not mad at it. I am not mad at it at all. So, yeah, we are here at Walmart. So, y'all pray for me that I can get in and out and get my pre workout. And then, like I said, I will show you guys the type of pre workout that I take and I truly enjoy it. I was watching Miss um, Yvonne's vlog. I've been following her for a long time. And she was talking about how she lost her baby weight. But one of the things that she said that stuck with me that I wasn't ready to receive yet, admittedly so, I went back and watched it a couple of days ago around losing weight. And it was your routines and um, removing like your excuses. And so she was saying that she goes to work out like, sir, why are you over here in my car? Anywho, she was saying how she goes to work out routinely, like every morning, Monday through Friday. She set apart that time, that's her me time. But she was saying that she doesn't rely on motivation. Like she doesn't get up in the morning and say like, okay, I'm gonna watch this video that's gonna more motivate me to go or I'm gonna listen to this song. She was like, she uses her pre-workout and that as motivation and that's all the motivation that she needs. And so once I realized, oh my goodness, like my husband has pre-workout in there, I should do the same thing. And it has been a game changer for me because once that pre-workout get in your system and it start moving through, baby, you, you ain't really got no choice but to get up and move your body and you're you're not it's like you're not gonna waste it <laughs> you're, you're not gonna waste it you're gonna just be like oh my god like i'm up like you have you ever had like a celsius or your favorite energy drink and you just started instantly like oh i'm about to clean my house or i'm about to clean this bathroom or i'm about to do my hair or whatever it's the same way with the um pre-workout so let's head inside and pick that up locked and no associates so let's go find one 
can one of you guys unlock the pre-workouts for me, please? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So. Okay. Okay, maybe the top was just twisted. I don't think it's actually open. Mm -hmm. Thank you. y'all right, so we made it back in the car safely let's go um i'm actually happy that i went when i did because i end up picking up the last of the mr hyde and i think this is like blue raspberry the flavor is so good on it like you know how some people like don't like the taste of pre-workout some people like will take a cap full of it and then drink water behind it. I actually like the taste of this one, but baby, it still went up because, baby, I ain't noticed how much my husband be paying for this stuff. No wonder he was side eyeing me when I started dipping into his supply. Okay, so this was $34.98. Like, oh my God, that is expensive. I hate that for me. But anywho, I have definitely worked up an appetite. It is 2.30. So to make it easier on myself and don't have to really think that much, I am going to go home and have my spaghetti that I made last night um, and kind of let that digest on my stomach first. And then maybe we will head to the swing do some journaling and then go to the gym or maybe just go to the gym do some journaling like tonight when the sun goes down like on the balcony or something like that i just really want some of this fresh air it is so why are my glasses crooked like is it my face jesus anywho it feels too good not to like capitalize on this weather at some point today but anywho, guys, I will catch you guys later when I am getting dressed for the gym. Today is going to be an upper body day. So on upper body day, I normally focus on arms, so biceps, triceps, and my back. So yeah, I'll see you guys. In the summer, yeah. Hotter in the summer, the winter don't stand no chance. It's hotter in the summer, yeah. Hotter in the summer, the winter don't stand no chance. So I am up making my first keto meal for the day and it is these egg bites. This is my favorite keto breakfast and it is just eggs with a little bit of this um, chicken sausage, veggies down in there and I'm about to get ready to add my cheese. Of course, I put a little extra virgin olive oil on the bottom so that it doesn't stick. I like to add Philadelphia cream cheese as well as a little bit of cheddar cheese on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so I have added both my Philadelphia cream cheese and my cheddar cheese. I'm about to go ahead and pop them into the oven at 375. They should cook for about eight to 10 minutes. I like to kind of undercook mine at about eight minutes because I did make enough for breakfast for today. 
and tomorrow for my husband and I. So if you undercook them a little bit, when you get ready to warm them in the microwave, they don't taste like overcooked, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in and make my matcha. Hey y'all, happy Friday. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys all week and that's because I haven't talked to you guys all week. I have been so busy, but I'm not mad at it. I am not mad at it, but I did want to quickly chat with you guys because your girl is down four pounds. <laughs> you see you see it on the face. <laughs> We're down four pounds with keto and consistently getting in the gym and I could not be more excited more proud of myself now let me see let's let's go sit down because i want i want to really roll this out let's go sit down and we're going to chat about self-care and what that looks like as far as working out goes all right y'all so i have probably five minutes before my son gets off the bus but this is what i want to chat about this week i was reminded that i can do hard things like Getting back in the gym and eating right was such a task for me. But when I think about like who I want my highest self to be, she is operating in what I'm doing now. Working out, eating better, eating cleaner, and showing up for myself. So before, I deemed that a hard thing. And I'm not exactly sure why, but I would tell myself all of these reasons why I couldn't change my diet or why I couldn't get in the gym. And so the way that I had to look at it in order for me to pivot, I had to become really, really selfish. And what I mean by that is I had to tell myself, Shanika, you need to show up for yourself the way in which you are showing up for other people. Now, I was just texting my homegirl about this, but this is what I said to her. I said, I have several previous students that I still talk to. They have my personal number. They follow me on social media. And so they will invite me out to a number of things, weddings, um, birthday celebrations, games, baby showers, so forth and so on. And some of these events, um, are like an hour, hour 30 minute away, but I make the time because I want to show up for them. I want to be present for them and I want them to know that I truly care and that I'm here, right? And their opinions of me and how I show up for them is important to me. So I try to have that same mentality for myself. What do you mean by that? I need to show up for myself the same way that I would show up for someone else. So if I look at myself and I'm like, okay, I'm not happy with the way I look, I'm looking at pictures, I'm looking a little bit overweight, I'm at the topper end of my weight, I need to lose some weight. And then I have a conversation with myself like, okay, girl, we're going to do it starting Monday morning. Monday morning gets here and I don't do it. I would never, I would never do that to other people that I care about or that I say that I love, like those previous students, I'm going to show up for them. Whether I'm tired, whether I'm broke, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get the job done. And so this week, I've been operating in that for myself. Like, show up for yourself, get the job done. You said, you said you wanted to lose this weight, you said you wanted to eat cleaner. You said you wanted to eat simpler. You said that you wanted to feel better. And you're not ignorant. You're not naive. You know how to get there, but you're not doing it for yourself the way in which you would do it for others or you would encourage them to do it for themselves. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. I wanted to say that I think that we need to remind ourselves that we can do hard things. It's not easy, but we can do it. And then also, if you think about it um, as far as letting yourself down, you'll do it. You'll do it because 
you want to honor yourself and no one else is going to honor you the way that you do and so it's important for us to show up for ourselves so with that being said i've been having a great time <laughs> preparing meals for myself this week i've been having a great time getting some you know me time and working out let me tell you again i was telling my homegirl this let me tell you sometimes i'm headed to the gym kicking and screaming Sometimes I'm headed to the gym insecure as hell. Sometimes I'm in the gym, I look to the left, I'm like, dang, her body is nice. And I'm in here looking fluffy, okay? But I finished the workout because I know the end goal. So we have to get moving. We have to honor ourselves and the goals that we say that we have. And eventually we will get there. Like Jalen of Face Over Matter said, our daily deposits, it's so important. So what do you do for yourself? Just take it one day at a time. If you can check that off, you're doing good. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So I am currently en route to the grocery store. Um, on Thursday, it'll be two weeks of keto and the refrigerator is pretty dry refrigerator and pantry is pretty dry on my keto items yesterday was the first day that i kind of struggled a little bit with the keto diet but it was simply because the only items that were left in my fridge were the items that my husband and my son have been eating and of course they are not keto approved so yeah, I had to kind of throw something together. So I'm super excited to get to the grocery store today so I can continue strong on my 30 days of keto, kind of using it to detox my body. I don't plan on doing keto long-term. If you're new here, I do keto two times a year, sometimes once a quarter, just depending on you know how I'm looking, how I'm feeling, and what my um, current body needs are. And that can be like gut health or it can be the fact that I've actually, you know, gained weight. Um, keto is a really good, for me, it's a really good way to kind of detox my body. But anywho, so as far as the meals that we're getting today, I'm going to be popping up like my notes tab or my notes app on the screen for you guys. So you can see the meals that I plan on putting together uh, this week. I'm super excited about the keto pizza. Um, on the low carb tortilla wraps. So there's that. And I'm also really excited about the cream of mushroom chicken and have it with some string beans. But anywho, I just wanted to introduce the vlog, let you guys know that we are headed into the store to pick up our keto meals. It is raining outside. It's a very gloomy day. So I'm excited to get my groceries and get back in the house and snuggle up. All right. See you guys either in the store or once we get back home for a grocery haul. So we are back in the car. Grocery shopping in the rain is a whole task and a workout because looked at all these groceries, child. But anywho, we got it done. Another very expensive visit. Like this is crazy. Like how y'all out here surviving? Y'all that got like three and four kids because just me, my husband, and my son. It's like a minimum of $300 every week and a half, two weeks. So maybe that's normal, but I'm just like stuck on like pre-pandemic grocery shopping. Like, anywho, I got a lot of things. I'm very excited about everything that I have. It's definitely gonna help me to stay on track with my keto. So I will show you guys everything once I get home. It was super, super busy in the store today. I guess I should have known better. It's Sunday, but sometimes the rain will deter people 
if I'm coming out, but baby, that wasn't the case today. So anywho, I'm gonna drive safely in this rain and I will show you guys everything that I picked up once I get back to the house. All right, ladies, so we are back home and I'm gonna do a quick grocery store haul. My husband was watching TV when I got home, so I decided to do a voiceover. So I picked up these keto cookies because it's about to be that time of the month and I got some cheese. I'm obsessed with this brand of cheese. I got some mozzarella and some shredded. The mozzarella is for the keto pizza that I was telling you guys about. Again, sugar cravings, that time of the month. We got some barbecue chicken, some catfish nuggets, this fish fry, because I want to make the catfish nuggets with this air fried okra really really good the pepperoni for the pizza and this is the crust that I ended up going with I think this is going to be really really good paired back with the Rayo's marinara sauce super excited check back in I'll let you guys know how it turned out for veggies I got some string beans some broccoli and then a couple of things of salad mix also picks up these meatballs i told you guys before that keto is all about protein and veggies so anything else <laughs> you're probably going to have to get an alternative so for breakfast i got this chicken sausage and bacon i picked up some chicken tenderloins as well as chicken breast for my chicken nachos for fruit, I picked up some strawberries for myself. The grapes I can't really have, but I'll kind of snack on them um, if I've been in the gym. Some more extra virgin olive oil. This is new for me. I'm going to be trying this out and let you guys know, but it has protein in it, so I'm super excited. If you didn't know, your condiments have a lot of carbs in them, so I had to pick up the sugar-free options for both the ketchup and the barbecue sauce the cream of mushroom and the cream of chicken for my creamy chicken recipe. Again, you guys should have seen that. I'm super, <laughs> super pumped about that. I picked up some skins because I have been craving chips and skins are made of pork. I know they're not good for you, but when I need a little bit of crunch, that is what I'm doing. And that's pretty much it for me. The rest of the stuff is my son's stuff that I pack for his lunches. And then just from when he's around the house, he loves green cheese applesauce he has some fries here some mini ice cream sandwiches um, yogurt balls he loves those these uh, snack cakes are more for my husband and my son of course because I can't have them pretzels french toast sticks um, macaroni and cheese from when he have his chicken tenders or his chicken nuggets he loves snacking on popcorn and these quesadilla bowls are for my husband. These two I'm very excited about. I haven't tried the strawberry and cream. Super excited. We'll see how that turns out. And I picked these up in my last visit. They are bomb. All right, y'all. So we are back from the grocery store. I did a quick little um, montage slash voiceover of all the things that I got from the grocery store. Hopefully you guys could get a gist of exactly the type of items that I get when I am on keto. Super excited to have everything replenished and continue on strong for week two and week three. So check back in for week two for another weigh-in. I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. If you enjoyed my vibe, please make sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And I will see you all next week for another vlog. Bye y'all.